It's very obvious that Nikki and Victor are each other's soulmate in Y and R. But before they actually realized it, they had to go through many heartbreaks. So, today let's take a look at all the past marriages. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. Nikki and Victor Newman's love story has got be one of the rare kinds in the history of soap opera. In Young and the Restless, Nikki was first introduced as a Bayou stripper, while Victor was the business tycoon with a heart of gold wrapped in steel. When Victor first saw her, the sparks were all over the place. They were instantly attracted to each other. But before bumping into Victor, Nikki was already knee-deep in troubles. She'd been married once before and also got herself involved in some accidental death situations. In her young days, Nikki accidentally killed her abusive father while defending herself, and then, she also accidentally killed her childhood friend. Meanwhile, Victor, despite swimming in cash now, started from the bottom, clawing his way up with nothing but a goal. Just like Nikki, he also had gone down the marriage road before bumping into Nikki. Victor was smitten from the get-go. Seeing Nikki as a damsel in distress, he just had to rescue. But there was a problem, a big age gap, that had him hesitating to dive into anything serious. Instead of diving straight into a love affair, Victor decided to play the role of mentor, bankrolling Nikki's transformation into high society through music and schooling. But Nikki wasn't one to take no for an answer. She chased Victor like a girl in love, dead set on making him hers. And you know what they say about persistence? It pays off. Eventually, Victor couldn't resist Nikki's charms, leading to a steamy rendezvous that sealed the deal. Since then, these two have gotten married four times, and we all know, in Y and R, fourth time's a charm. So, let's take a look at their marriages. Number 1, The First Engagement When Nikki and Victor got engaged for the first time, Victor thought it was a big mistake, and ended up finding her a man of her age. Victor even found himself another woman, just to keep himself away from her, which led to his breakup with Nikki. Eventually, Nikki went along with it, tying the knot with Victor's pick, thinking she could just move on and forget about him. But life had other plans when she found out she was pregnant with Victoria, Victor's baby. Despite Victor's commitment issues to Nikki, he never stopped being her knight in shining armor, swooping in to rescue her every time there was a problem. Her marriage eventually hit the skids. But just as she was starting to move on, guess who decided couldn't live without her? Yes, you guessed it, it's Victor. They were all set for a big fancy wedding, but then things took a dark turn when Nikki got kidnapped by her ex. Victor, being the hero he is, jumped into action to save her once more. But in the chaos, he ended up with a pretty gnarly injury down there, leaving him feeling pretty down and out. Feeling insecure and crushed, he decided to call off the wedding. But then, after getting a peek at some revealing photos of Nikki, he had a change of heart. Turns out, he wasn't as unavailable as he thought. And just when they thought they could finally tie the knot, some ex-lover of Victor's had to go and ruin everything by plotting to kill Nikki on their big day. Number 2, Their First Marriage Victor and Nikki's first wedding back in 84 was a real showstopper, filled with their young and wild love. Nikki was drop-dead gorgeous in her white dress, and Victor was looking sharp in his slick black tux. They exchanged vows straight from the heart, and it seemed like luck was on their side when Victor managed to sort things out with Eve before she caused any trouble. Sadly, their honeymoon phase didn't last long. Victor's wandering eye landed on Ashley Abbott, and well, let's just say he got a bit sidetracked from his promises. This led Nikki to straight into Jack Arms to find comfort. Realizing her mistake, Nikki fought to save her marriage with Victor, but he had already filed for divorce. Then, Nikki fell seriously ill, drawing Victor back in the picture. Nikki saw her chance and played sick even after she got better, hoping to keep Victor close. But as fate would have it, Victor caught wind of Nikki's scheme, sealing the deal on their divorce just a few years later. Victor even tied the knot with Ashley Abbott. But the saga of his and Nikki was far from over. For the next decade, they found themselves caught in a toxic loop of trying out relationships with other people only to circle back to each other time and again. Number 3, Their Second Marriage The next chapter in Victor and Nikki's love story kicked off with a whole lot of drama. Despite their split, they couldn't seem to stay away from each other, and soon enough, they welcomed their son Nicholas, aka Nick, into the world. But even the joy of parenthood couldn't patch up their rocky relationship, leading Victor to walk down the aisle for the sixth time. Yep, that's right, six. And this time, with Diane Jenkins. Just two years into Victor's marriage to Diane, Nikki was shot four times by her ex's furious ex-wife, leaving her fighting for her life. 
With everyone convinced Nikki wouldn't make it, Victor made a bold move, divorcing Diane to fulfill Nikki's dying wish of tying the knot with him. However, by some miracle, Nikki pulled through, making their first wedding invalid. No worries though, Victor popped the question again, just to make it official. But Victor saying he didn't want any more kids, despite Nikki's longing to expand their family caused some serious bumps along the way. And things really hit rock bottom when Victor discovered Nikki's investment in Chabot. Victor felt betrayed, thinking Nikki owed her success to him. In a heated moment, Nikki made a regrettable decision, she cheated, and decided it was time to call it quits with Victor. Number 4, The Third Marriage So, Nikki and Victor's third trip down the aisle started off as a slow burn from friendship to romance. Victor even went as far as buying an engagement ring for Nikki, but commitment jitters held him back. Eventually though, he got his act together, popped the question, and Nikki was thrilled. They said their I do's in 2002, right where they did the first time around. But as usual, trouble was lurking round the corner. Their son Nick's marriage hit the rocks, when Sharon cheated with a stable hand. Nikki never warmed up to Sharon, and Victor's soft spot for her only added fuel to the fire. Nick tried to patch things up, but catching Sharon locking lips with Victor was the final straw. Nick was crushed, and Nikki was furious at Victor's relationship with Sharon. He went back to his old ways, putting business and feuds above family. Nikki had enough, especially since she never approved of Sharon. Victor's lack of remorse and hurtful words pushed Nikki over the edge, leading her to call it quits in 2008, after she cheated on him. Number 5, The Last and Forever Alright, so the final chapter of Victor and Nikki's epic love story started with a bang, literally. Their ranch went up in flames, but instead of just rebuilding, they took it as a sign to reflect on their rocky past. Victor finally woke up and realized just how much Nikki meant to him. Cue the romantic proposal, with Victor promising it would be the last time they would tie the knot. With a sparkly ring and cheers from their families, they geared up for the big day. But here's the kicker, Nikki was hiding a big secret. She had been diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, but she didn't want Victor treating her differently or calling off the wedding. Of course, Jack couldn't keep his mouth shut and spilled the beans. There were tears, but the highlight was Victor's heartfelt promise to stand by her side. But wait, it wasn't all doom and gloom. The doctor gave them some hope, saying Nikki could still have a great life with the right treatment. They celebrated the good news, but then Nikki fainted during dinner. Luckily, she bounced back and they went ahead with a dreamy wedding surrounded by loved ones. Fast forward to 2024, and these lovebirds are still going strong, hitting a major milestone of 10 years together in Genoa City. Through all the ups and downs, they've found their happy place, wrapped up in each other's arms. They are definitely the end game. Do you think Nikki and Victor are the perfect match? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.